Stop Mappers, welcome to morning of day two of the stop number four of the EQ season here at Lake Wheeler. Yesterday we got off to a really, really solid start, um, caught 18 plus pounds, and we were in 13th place, separated very marginally between the people all around us. So we're about to go out very soon here. Got coleslaw riding with me today because I don't have a co-angler, and um, that's always badass. But things are gonna be really interesting today because yesterday we had a a decent boat number. We were boat 41 out of 230, so way up there. Um, today it flops, and so we are the 41st from last boat, which is 170 or 80 or something. You know, magically I was able to get on the starting spot, and the 40 boats ahead of me yesterday didn't stop there. A whole bunch of people decided to come and try to freaking hop next to me and in, in on, on my boat basically, and cast across me and sit on the spot. And they weren't catching anything, at least. And luckily we had those six cents cranks. Um, in there blasting around and making those guys a little bit upset they couldn't get them to bite. Now today I've already had people reach out to me and say they haven't found anything else in practice and so they have to start on the spot where I caught them yesterday and they drove by yesterday and that uh, it was it was too busy. So we're gonna go play bumper boats apparently and hopefully um, I got the magic baits that uh, allow me to catch all the fish and them not to catch any this morning. It's gonna be an interesting day if we can duplicate what I did yesterday with 18 pounds. I mean, that's it's gonna take a fortunate day to do that. Um, but if we can do that, we'll be in the top 10 tomorrow, definitely. 21 pounds is leading, and uh, a lot of those guys that weighed those 18, 19 pound bags were in that early flight yesterday. So I think weights are gonna flip a little bit when guys aren't able to set up on their stuff. And hopefully we're not one of those guys. But regardless, we're gonna have a good time. It's supposed to be cloudy today, so that might prolong that bite a little bit more. And I got some sneaky stuff that I didn't go to yesterday that we're at least going to be able to go catch some fish off of today. But I'm excited. Comment down below if you want to see a freaking brawl out there in the tournament. It won't matter because it'll be like a week and a half after this video, when the video goes up, after when we actually went out there and fished. But regardless, you might see some interesting stuff out there and some conversations that um, happen. I know everybody wants to see the drama and the fights on the water and stuff. And I'd be lying if I said that um, some of that might go down today. I was super courteous yesterday, had some people pull in in ways that I didn't think that they should have. And I didn't say a word to them because I knew that today they might be there first because they watched me catch it next, catch fish next to them. So we'll see if they give the, uh, the same courtesy to me today. It's gonna be a fun one, MFers. Let's get it. Try to, man. Thank you, sir. 410. Oh, oh, lost my hat. I'm gonna let the flow out. That's what I'm gonna do. Been getting any? I lost my hat, so. Yeah, he's sitting on top of where I need to be. Matt. Go this way a little bit. You're sitting on top of where they're at. There's a little lip drop off they sit on. They sit on the little lip to drop off on that side. Dude, no one's on that one. Thank you. Scope's not working, the wind's blowing 100, my hat's gone. He is on top of where the fish are sitting. What are we doing today, fish? All right, we're gonna idle up around these guys. I'm gonna fish it backwards. No, you're good. I'm going right here, Chancey. No, it's all you. I don't know if they're f***ed up from the storm or what. It's being weird. Something's off big time. Yeah, timing's off on this. Let's go try that brush pile. I'm gonna put a different jerk bait on really quick. I don't think I'm gonna be able to cast that fucking mega bass in there. It's at least out of the wind. I can't even tie a f***ing bait on this morning. It's crazy how shit changes in the day. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call a quick audible. Everyone here is freaking touching tips. And I can't, like there's literally eight boats right here fishing within 120 feet of each other. And uh, no one's catching dick, so we're gonna make a quick audible. I have this really sneaky brush pile that I'm sure there's probably somehow three boats sitting on that they found. We're gonna run over there and try to 
get on the board here quick because this shallow bar thing is not happening. Not here anyway. Fish this bar. It was on fire. Fish another bar next to it. That was good yesterday too that I marked in practice and nothing. So quick move. Loaded. Not as much as before, but they're fucking there. That's the one I get in the boat. There's probably enough to catch a limit here. Might not get another bite, but first one freaking got it on the fall. What happened? Little bass. Nico, a little bit better. Still gonna have to get rid of him, but man, getting tough out here this morning. So we're just gonna freaking roll with what we got in front of us here. All we can do is catch what's in front of us. This is one of them sneaky spots I was telling you guys about. No one's found. Kind of like my uh, number two tag. I can't find it. Dude, that's two, probably two and a half pounds for two fish. We're gonna have to do better on that. That wasn't even in the pile, which is kind of nice. Don't pull any fish. There's four fucking pounders in this pile. Just gotta get them a bite. That's a better one. No, it's not. I'm not measuring that one. You're the man. Here we go. Keep chipping away. How's it going? How about you? Terrible. He's got a limit. That's good. Yeah. I'm hoping for a small mouse so I can feel something next time. Wow, we got a big coal coming up here. Wow. Wow.
freaking watched him arch up and go get it. I don't even know what one of the smallest one is. Probably the one I just caught, I guess. Oh, man. This is not good. It's bigger than that one. It's either one or five. I think five is bigger. One's bigger. I need it, like two more casts here. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This is terrible. Load it up right where they're supposed to be on the edge. Come on. medium in. Back the f back, dude. Damn, dude, this is terrible. <sighs> Tragic. I'm gonna coal for half an hour now for these fish. I guess we know that, what, one is my smallest? That's a big upgrade there. Let's look back at Bugs Island again. Wheeler Island. Bugs Wheeler. Wheeler. It's a better one. Barely. Now this will be fucking fun. <laughs> Not the type of colon you want to be doing, folks, especially when they're this size and they freak out every time. Or smaller, so we gotta check between one and four. One's the smallest. A couple ounces. Eight pounds, maybe? What? Seven or eight pounds, maybe? Eight? Maybe? I might have eight and a quarter. And I struggle to get those. And two of them came off that stump. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Shane's got them better. Does he? He's got him. Yeah. But he got a five pounder. That'll but do it. Most of the guys, like Josh Bragg in 20 yesterday, he's got 10 pounds, he said. Kind of like he's got like 19 plus. Yeah. Beauty. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's go. Killing him? Hell yeah, man. About eight. eight. Tragic. Eat it. Not good. I'm that guy that needs a two pounder now. <laughs> no, you're good. Appreciate it, man. He'll probably be fishing tomorrow with 19. Here we go. Fucking motherfucker. Swam it off. Oh, the, the walleye fucking pecking. Shit, so I don't, it's like five fucking bites I've missed right here. Just haven't even stung one, hardly. Ugh. Look at that ugly son of a bitch. <sighs> All right, one more cast. Just to be sure, I was wondering why he wasn't fighting Mr. Splotchy. Let's go. Zach's the only guy I got the same track. We should call him Father Zach. That's what, that's what we call him because he officiated my wedding. Really? Yep. <laughs> He was your Toledo Bend champion just a couple of tournaments ago from New Caney, Texas. Ben Milliken, come on up. Ben had a great start with 18-4, day number one. Five in there today. 
Seven pounds, six ounces. Going to be a tougher day, too. And uh, well, Hi, Becky. I'll be watching home. Love you guys. I'll uh, be heading home soon. You're going to get some good points out of that. And the 402 jersey does stick out a little bit. But nice job, Ben. We'll, we'll see you in Oklahoma. Oh. Are we going? Yep. All right, we are back from Wheeler. Didn't uh, have it in me really to film an outro because I was just straight up pissed off about how it went. We're now two weeks after, probably. Had a chance to talk about everything multiple times, the friends, family, podcasts, you guys. Um, I've been filming videos here in Texas for the last two weeks, so we got couple of videos as well last day sucked second day of the tournament just dropped the damn ball um i know a lot of people probably thought that i'd go out and just blame it on everybody else or uh, people being on spots and stuff but truthfully it was on me and it was just a confusing day when i had backup plans that just didn't pan out the brush pile that i saved for day three really that i ended up going on day two that i figured i could at least catch two to three pounders on went there and that's a crankbait it's a c25 it doesn't have hooks at least you should play with that one no hooks but uh went there and in practice caught two a couple two pounders a three pounder went there in the tournament caught five that were not even a pound and three quarters go down to a spot that's a hump then i'm like oh it's a small mouth spot like i'll go down there and be able to catch two and a half pounders on it at least because that's what kind of practice nothing so pretty much scramble mode to go catch fish um ended up having to catch them a lot of them on this guy actually right here the flick shake rig with the six cents clout green pumpkin burst that's like my savior if things get really shitty and tough i threw that around the brush piles and Really caught some fish offshore too on just some, some structure and stuff. And through the, the swing head all week, through a rage craw on it, through a biffle bug on it. And then of course, this guy was a, a big player in practice and in the, the event too, the six cents mini mag. You can see did some damage to the bill and then we got some damn tooth marks all over that guy. That's how you want that crankbait to look right there. I love this one because it, it's a bigger square bow. You can cast it really well in the wind that day too. It got super windy for me. And so I was able to bomb this thing still, but still completely silent bait, very natural in the water on those pressured fish. Um, mixed in a Berkeley Fritz side a little bit, mixed in a six cents prototype bait we're coming out with um, a lot bit. And that was pretty much my juice day one and day two. It just didn't freaking pan out. Couldn't set up on the fish right. There's people on my spots and it's just how it turns out when there's people that find the same stuff as you. And um, I had backup plans and they didn't pan out. So it is what it is. I think finished up 62nd for the event, which is a crazy contrast because last event at Bugs Island ended up, I think 64th. And I was totally cool with that based on how practice went, how the first day went. This event, I'm super pissed off about how it went, honestly. I had high hopes to make a top 10 in day three and to just all went downhill on day number two, which salvaged it luckily with some of these sneaky baits that we just got over years of uh, grinding out on the water with, but obviously that's not the finish we want. So uh, my mind is 100% on you follow Oklahoma, never been there, don't know shit about this place other than it's gonna be some some summer type, early summer fishing in an Ozarks style lake. So, is what it is, and on to the next one. Thank you guys for watching this. Ozzy, you wanna use that bait right there? Yeah. We'll go throw that in the pond maybe? Yeah. Catch a big bass? Yeah. Boom. Boom. We will uh, catch you on the next tournament. In between though, we got a bunch of... Tournament? You coming yeah. to the next tournament? Deal? Yeah. Okay, deal. Ozzy's all about tournaments. We've been talking a lot lately about how hard we need to start working and how we need to get used to being on the boat for a long time, right? So you can fish tournaments with me? Nah. Yeah. Ozzy cannot wait to go fish tournaments because he's obsessed with fishing. He's really obsessed with fishing the boat and he's really, really obsessed with tournament fishing now that he's been to several of them, so. But mostly big bass. Mostly. He wants to catch a big bass, right? <laughs> you bet. Can I get a you bet? Yeah. <laughs>
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we will do better next time. I'm not allowing myself to not do better. We are now in ninth place in points for the EQ season. So we got to keep doing better. We just got to do better. We got five left, four down, so long ways to go. But uh, thanks for, for all your support on this one and moving forward. Catch you soon. Magic. Peace.